something unthinkable has happened. You may recall that a little while ago, while we were trying to get mending, Jimmy here, our supposed friend, Jimmy decided to deliver mending to us. Wait, Jimmy's the librarian now? Jimmy just got me mending for 10. Jimmy! Dude, Jimmy, I love you, man! And here I am, I log in today for my streamathon, and I decide I want to get mending on my axe. So I go to good old Jimmy to get mending, and I open him up. And even though he was locked in, mending is gone. He he doesn't he doesn't offer me mending anymore. So I was heartbroken initially. Like, how could you do this to me, Jimmy? You you were giving me a 10 emerald mending enchant trade, and now it's gone. But not only that, the betrayal goes further. He's offering infinity. Bruh. He switched from mending to infinity. If any of you that have been watching the channel for a while know how heinous of a crime this is. So Jimmy needs to be punished in some way. And I'm thinking that he needs to have like a cellar. He, that we need a village jail for this betrayal until we figure out further what to do with Jimmy. So for right now, he's in detainment in this fence. He has no way to get out of here. He can't, he doesn't know how to open fences. But Jimmy, Jimmy, you're gonna pay for this treachery. Yes, you will. So now I have to sit here and re-roll a mending villager. And while I do, let's talk about getting 500 likes in the video, guys. If we get 500 likes in this video, I will take a trip to the nether, go to a bastion, and get a netherite template so we can upgrade all of our gear to netherite. So you know what to do, click that like button, click the subscribe button down below as well, and make sure you drop a comment and let me know what what, what are we gonna do about Jimmy? I need to know. And while we wait for Jimmy to get judged by a court of his peers, I'm gonna keep re-rolling this and I'll see you guys on the other side. After careful deliberations with the village council, Jimmy is gonna be jailed, which means that this episode is taking a twist. We need to build a jail cell and we need to build that jail cell somewhere here. This is gonna be our next house conversion. I don't know if it should be somewhere central to kind of remind the villagers what can happen if such treachery ever occurs again, or if it should be more on the outskirts to keep the criminals like Jimmy away from the rest of the villagers and possible corrupting influence. So I need to decide on that, but I'm kind of leaning towards like a fairly central location let me think about this for just a moment. After looking around through all the buildings for a while, I think I've decided where our sheriff's office slash holding area jail cell thing is going to go. And it's going to go right here, which means I do have to take up my enchanting setup. And this guy is going to have to go, although he does look like a good sheriff or like a prison guard or something. So maybe he'll be employed here. I don't know. And we have two of this building structure. Like this was a, I guess a religious structure, right? Um, because the the uh, clerics go in there, but we have another one there. So I think this will work. I think this is it right here. This is gonna be our jail cell. So first things first, the structure here, it's gotta go because we are not using it. But before we tear this down, I might as well use this before I have to rebuild those bookshelves somewhere else is I, I, wanna, I wanna get an enchanted shovel. Efficiency four, I'll take that. Let's see if we get some other stuff with it. We did not, oh well. I won't use this yet until I get unbreaking on it. There we go, structure is mostly down. We need to figure out what the new size of this thing's gonna be. Okay, I haven't been the best of filling this out, by the way, but I think now is a good time to do it. This is um episode five we're working on right now, right? Episode five. Jimmy has betrayed us. Switch from offering mending to infinity. Must be punished. Jail being built. Okay, perfect. Let's put that back. And um, I've got some copper blocks here. I foresee us using copper for this somewhere as like an accent block, not as a primary block. So I need to I need to lay out a little copper field, so to speak. Uh, maybe over here is a good spot just so we can get some copper oxidized. Because I do think I want co oxidized copper. And if I remember correctly, we need to space it out three blocks in between each one. And it goes on the fourth block. Um, I think a grid like this should probably be good enough. Never mind. It's every fifth block. Every fifth block. Jimmy's cell is about to get an upgrade because, well, we do not want our prisoner 
to become victim of a raid. And unfortunately, my stream, he doesn't deserve his tree either, by the way. Uh, my stream is making me raid right now. So uh, if you want to catch that, you want to come back and watch the stream. So I'm not going to show it here on video right now, unless Moonstone decides to put some clips in my editor. We'll see if that happens. But we do want to make sure that Jimmy does not get killed so he can serve his proper punishment and serve time as needed. So we're going to just go ahead and increase this. Okay, there's there's Jimmy's temporary holding cell. I put another one of these right here. I think I can still get in and out if need be. Yes. All right, it's raid time. Let's go. Let's do this. Got him. Follow. Let's go. Oh, out. No Bailey. Paul, help me. Paul, get him. Get him, Paul. Out. Ow! Attack, Paul! I got you, friend! No food! Paul! Help! Get him, Paul! Ah! Ow! Ah! I saved him! Go, Paul! Go! You got this, Paul! Paul, come on! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Come on, Paul! Ah! I'm helping, Paul! Come on! Follow me! Into battle! We're, I just uh, I just heard Paul. He took damage. Paul! I don't know where he is. Alright, hold on. I think we have evokers. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Paul! There he is! Help me! Crap. I got you, Paul. Ah! Ah! No, Paul, don't die. Oh, no. Did they get him? Oh, no. Oh, no, I think, I think they killed Paul. Oh gosh, okay. Last one. Uh. Was that all? Victory! I tried, listen, I tried to save Paul, okay? He he disappeared out of my sight for a second. Next thing I know, he's gone. He died a hero. He died a hero. Unfortunately, we've had a casualty. I would like everybody to remember that Paul, Paul was the true hero of the village. May he rest in peace. Okay, so after all the drama, it's time to actually get this show on the road. Um, so I need to think of like, how big do I want this thing to be? I do have a reference image image that I'm working off of. I'll have that show up right now on screen for you. And I'm not going to do anything exact to this, but I do like this building. So we're going to do something very similar. Um, I think I want to stick to an odd number, and this is about the amount of space base that we have. I'll take us to about right here and we'll see how that terraforms out later. I really do not know. Let's see if this is an odd number. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, we need to make it one. Man, this does not feel like it's going to be big enough, but we'll make it work. So we'll say that this is the size that we have to deal with in this direction. And then depth wise, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'll say nine for the depth, I think. And you know what? We can actually extend this thing out a little bit further. Let's get ourselves just a little bit more space. Not a lot more, but I think a little bit more space will do us some good later on when we're building and adding details and that sort of thing. All right, let's get rid of all this. And uh, let's, let's go ahead and just make it like an outline. We're going to change this. I like to, I just like to start in cobble. And actually what I think I'm going to do is a tip that I've I've given in the past when I like to build, which is I think I'm going to wireframe this thing out a little bit and like just get a general sense for how it's going to look prior to actually building it. We can still put up the posts here. How many is that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. So what we'll probably be doing is splitting this thing roughly in half. 
oh man but if i want it to be i think i feel like i want this part to be kind of square right so one two three four five six seven eight nine see this would make this part nine by nine hmm which means the key part is i don't like that nope i don't like that here let's do this let's make it seven by seven and what we'll do in a seven by seven is we'll actually shrink it down a little bit So like all of his outside part will go and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Ah, this looks good. I like this. I like the way this is coming together. So we'll have like our little like inner keep thing here, which will probably be pretty tall. I don't know. Maybe like, let's see what 11 blocks looks like. So that's like the main structure to tower. And then I think this part, right? I think we're going to um, do wood here here how did we end up with an even number one two three four five six seven eight that's not good let's change that so they're like that and then i think um i do think i like that look that they used in that that screenshot that i showed you guys of like wood kind of being like in the middle too and going up let's frame this out So I think roughly this is the structure. We'll have like a little roof set up here, a little top to this keep right here. And I think this thing, it feels like it's going to be size appropriate for what we're doing. Um, let's start to figure out some blocks to fill in these holes. I've been sitting here looking at the, the, the building for a little bit. Now that we got it filled in. And I think what I want to do first is I think I want to get the roof in over here because that could dictate some like features that we add into into here and like some of the detailing that we do um, and maybe even some structural like changes to it or something. I'm not quite sure. So uh, I think that's going to be our plan here, which means I think our roof is going to come across like this. It's going to stick out like a decent ways from the main structure, which I think will look good like that. Something like this. We'll we'll figure out any extra roofing details here in just a little bit. I think that'll do the trick, though. All right. Um, right. Let's figure out what the inner portion of the roof is going to be next. Like what color, what flavor, what uh, block that we're going to use here. I don't quite know yet. I'm going to go take a look at a few and we'll get it filled in. And then we're going to add in some extra shape to the roof that I think I want to add in. OK, I'm, I'm, I'm first of all, granite here. I made a decision. Looks really good. I love it. But... I really want to add it. I like the shape from that from that that building we looked at. So I'm I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm doing that roof. OK, that's the roof I want. I like. Oh, hold on. I like that roof. Oh, this shape is a little bit different. Because of the size we did for the building, which I think is fine. Let's see. Let's see how it looks is, is the only thing I can really say. I, I think I like it. I think I like it. Let's do it to the other side. And then we're going to move on with their lives. Yeah. Oh, I. Yeah, I got to figure out that part. OK, I think we I think we pulled the shape off. It kind of like blends into slash like melds into the little keep section here, which now that I look at it, I might make this a little bit taller just for like scaling purposes. I have not looked at this from down below yet. Let's get this out the way. We need to obviously like fill in some of this and bring that all the way up. But I like that. That looks really good. Kind of like winged that a little bit. We could probably put like a little trap door or something on the edge there to bring it together. But I like it. It looks great. Let's um let's do a little bit of this. No, not there. A little bit of this right here. A little bit of stripping there and I need some more stairs but yeah I think this will be good this looks great okay so now with this part like just the sh like general shape of it not the detailing but just the shape of this is done now right so I think with the shape of that done I can more accurately start messing with this and I think the first thing I want to do with it is I think I want to make it a little bit taller not a lot but I think like three blocks taller 
would be pretty good. And I think I want to add some shape into it too. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually like, like circ encircle this thing in stone brick like this on just the corners. And it's going to have a kind of flat top to it, I think. So yeah, uh, let's go ahead. Let me take all of this off. Okay. So we got that. Uh, let's drop back down here. And do this corner as well. Like that. Um, I don't know what to do about these edges, though. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. So what if, what if we do this? What if we do this? Bear with me. Like this. Which means we would also do that on this side. What does this look like from above? It feels like it needs that little flap over there, doesn't it? Yeah, I know you guys are saying yes right now. I know it. All right, let's do that too. Okay, that looks good. See, we can we can totally work with this. Awesome. Okay. Also, since we're since we're here and I have the blocks on me, I feel like I wanted to add a little structure here as well. Just to kind of make it feel more like guard housey. Yeah, something like that. I think looks good. It's it's little, it's subtle, but it works. Um let's give some thought to what this is gonna look like. And there we go. This is looking pretty good. Um, instead of doing the rest of this bit on camera, I will still do it on stream, but I'm not going to include it in the video here. We're going to add in a bunch of detailing just to bring this place alive, make it look a little bit more interesting. And then we're going to move to the most important part of this episode, which is Jimmy's cellar. All right. A little bit of progress has been made. We're still, we're still working on it, but I had a really cool idea. Uh, let's go out one, two, one, two. So like right here, here here and here I don't need this to be especially large I don't think because I don't want it to be imposing but I'm envisioning a like a tower of sorts right a little like bell tower it's like what if we do this what if we wrap it like right here like so a little bit more Nope. Okay, that is incorrect. Nope. Nope, that is also... Can I stop? And then we'll do the rest of it in granite, I think. Okay, but I like this, right? This feels good, looks good. Okay, so we put this guy right here. We take this wall piece. There, maybe? And da, 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 da. we hang the bell. That looks really cool. I like that. Um, also, oops, let's go up to the roof here. Let's put that right there. I think this will be, you guys will see, this will be like a really cool, like little extra bit of flare. Oh yeah, I like that. It's just like a little bit of like copper flare. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so now that I've, I've added in a few final touches over here and take a look at this, that looks really cool and imposing. They're not meant to be a like guard. It's not meant to say that like, hey, there's a guard up here that's like watching. It's meant to be more of like a, a small statue, a decoration of sorts. So um, I like the way that looks. That looks really cool. Having those, God, I love that little bell tower. That thing is really cool. Um, so I think next thing that I want to do is start messing around with the inside. I put down a floor in here. We have a floor in here. We need some stairs there. You know, that stuff's kind of plain and boring. Um, what I want to do is dig out the cellar. Um, and again, I think I want to like make this trace to the exterior of the building here. I, I just feel like that's going to make sense, like literally 100% of the time. Okay, cellar has been dug out. Let's get some walls. Okay, here we are. I, I have more blocks oxidizing, but I really wanted to do this 
which is have copper floors down here. I love, 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 love this idea. Maybe we even like, maybe we even like have a little like pattern, like a uh, detail it with the, the like different layers or levels of, of copper. Um, I need to get some more. I have a little field of copper out there laying right here trying to get oxidized. So I don't think I have any more in here, do I? No, just some stairs. So I'm going to I'm going to do a couple little bits and pieces and things while I wait for that to oxidize. And then we will bring it down and get the floor filled in. And then it's time, time to make Jimmy's cell and transport him into it. I've been distracted by what you say. A pink sheep. And a brown sheep. Super rare sheep. Next most rare sheep. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Pinky and the brain. It's pinky and the brain. One is a genius. The other likes to eat wheat. All right, come on, sheepies. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. All right, hold on. We have to we have to name them Pinky and the Brain. How do we not? How do we not do it? Pinky Brain. Perfect. Okay. So, it's jail cell time. So, what I'm thinking is we go 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 same here like this, right? And then we connect 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 Oh wait, these are gonna be, hold on a second. This is this is gonna connect here. Like this. Which means we need a door here. How is this gonna work? Maybe what it'll be is two separate shared cells instead of four separate individual cells. And and let me show you, let me show you why. I was thinking of four individual cells. But it's it's just it's not going to come together the way I want if I do it that way. So I think what we do is something like this. Like that. Put this here and this here. Like this, right? And this this be the cells, two shared cells. Yeah, I think this works. I think this works. So what we need to do as well is bring this down and then uh, let's let's close. Let's close it in and we need a little ceiling action in here. And then Jimmy, you're moving in, buddy. All right. Before I do that, we have to add in. Oh, um, this is harder than I expected. Maybe we'll do it like this. Oh, interesting. It's. I wasn't thinking about okay we'll do that right so i go in here this is this is their little sleeping mat and guess what even though they can hold more than one person there's only one mat to sleep on not my problem okay ceiling jimmy hey look we captured the village idiot well i guess he's gonna stay in there okay here we go Jimmy, get in the boat. In the boat, Jimmy. All right. Um, let's let's slowly take you over here. Pro probably very slowly. Oh no, he's don't. Do not get in the boat with Jimmy. I repeat, do not stay away from the prisoner. He's dangerous. Dangerous prisoner coming through. Considered armed. Okay, we got to go across here. Come on, buddy. I, I didn't mean to call you buddy. You're not my buddy anymore. Whee! Oh, hello. No. Nope. Although I think he's I think he might be my jailer. Okay. Oh, um. Come on. Uh, <laughs> of 
course. Of course. Why? Why wouldn't it? Um, I guess the best way down is down, right? Come on. Oh. Okay. Um, okay, let's block escape. Okay, Jimmy. Get in your cell, Jimmy. Yeah! This is what you get, Jimmy. This is what you get for betraying me in the village. This is what happens when you change from mending to infinity. Somehow, I think Blue Jay was probably up to this. He doesn't, he doesn't have access to our village and our world here. But this is something Blue Jay would do. Anyways, yes, you pace back and forth. Think about your actions. All right, everybody. I thank you for watching today's episode. If you haven't already, click the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And you got to comment down below. What do you think of Jimmy's treachery? Did, did he get what he deserved? Does he deserve worse? Is there a nitwit staring at the back of my head awkwardly right now? No, there's not. Let me know down below what you think. What should happen to Jimmy going happen to Jimmy going forward? And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!